How's it going everyone? So we are currently in interview season right now and after going on a bunch of different interviews I've been getting a lot of questions over the past couple of weeks about like, oh, what's it like to go on interviews? You know, how are they? Are they scary? Is it everything that I think that they are? And so I thought it'd be a cool idea to make a video on kind of just like what the typical day of an interview is like. The interviews are by far the best part of the entire application process. You spend the last few years like working super, super hard, doing your applications, and not even knowing if you'll get an interview. And then when you finally do, when you get to finally be on campus dressed all nice and meeting like the staff, um, the admissions committee, and a bunch of other interviewees, and a lot of the students as well that go to the school, it's just a good feeling and it's it's kind of like a moment that you're like man I work so hard just to get to this position right now and I think that's why a lot of people freak out I think that's why a lot of people start to get neurotic and they start to ask all these questions like what kind of things should I be prepared for what kind of questions should I have answers prepared for and that's kind of why I want to make this video so the way it starts off you pretty much meet up with a lot of the staff the admissions committee and all the other interviewees and you go into a room they do introductions so they'll be like oh this is the president of the school or this is the founder or you know this is the financial aid person and this is the clinical director and all that kind of stuff and you'll just meet them and they'll meet you they'll ask you like oh what's your name we'll go around the room and introduce ourselves stuff like that they'll go over the history of the school the mission statement their values um their curriculum which is super important that's kind of what you want to pay attention to uh their tuition which is also really important um, and then they'll talk about kind of other activities you can do in the school and other things they offer, whether it's wellness centers, um, a bunch of clubs that you can join, just a lot of different things that their school has to offer. Because you have to remember that even though they're going to interview you later that day, you're also going to kind of interview them and make sure that the school is the right fit for you. So you want to pay attention during all these. And this is pretty consistent across all the interviews I've gone on. They always start with like this uh, presentation and it's usually about one to two hours long. And so at this point you can like take notes and stuff. But then after that, this is where it kind of starts to vary from school to school. You'll have a couple things going on. You'll have the actual interview you'll have the lunch with the medical students, and then you'll have a tour of the campus. Now, some schools like to do the interviews like super early and kind of just knock it out really quick, which I personally really like. I kind of like to just get the interview over with, and then you kind of get to just relax for the rest of the day and enjoy meeting with like the medical students and getting a tour of the school rather than thinking about the interview the entire time you're there. The lunch with the students is always a lot of fun because this is your chance to actually just ask them a lot of questions about the medical school without the admissions committee or any of the other staff members like hanging over your head. It's pretty much just you, a few other applicants, and then a couple of medical students kind of paired per group or maybe just like a few of them with the entire bunch of interviewees, depending on how this group is. And again, like I said, this is your chance to really just ask them questions and really make sure the school is right for you. And then if you don't really have any questions about the school, you can also ask a couple things about like, kind of like what their path was. And it's usually just a lot of conversation. After or before lunch, the medical students will typically take you on a tour of the school where they'll show you all their facilities, um, like anatomy labs, uh, patient interaction stations, kind of a lot of different things that they have to offer. This is also a really good time for you to make sure that the school is right for you while you're like walking around and you just like you look at all the different rooms and the different things that they have to offer. You want to make sure that you can kind of see yourself there. And then either before or after lunch, kind of depends on the school, you'll do the interview. And this is the part that people freak out the most about and I don't really know why. The thing is if you got a medical school interview, then you on paper look good enough to get into medical school. So you should have the confidence of knowing like you are a medical school material now it's more of a matter of like does your personality fit in with the uh, with the school the ad comms and just the group in general and do you line up with their mission statement I think people are just so afraid of looking bad that they kind of start to overthink it which is kind of crazy because you're there because you look so good right like it just only makes sense now the interview is gonna vary from like traditional interviews to multiple mini interviews but this is gonna be specifically more about the traditional interviews I have a video on multiple mini interviews which I'll link somewhere here in the description or something check that out if the school you're going to has a multiple mini interview so if it's a traditional interview a lot of schools do it differently but you'll kind of know how they do it because they'll send you kind of like some sort of uh, pamphlet or some sort of information about the school and how they're gonna interview you um, some schools I've gone to they did like one 45 minute interview one school I went to had two 45 minute interviews with like a 10 minute break um, there's a couple that were like three 30 minute interviews. Some of them are just one 30 minute interview. So they're all kind of different. And so a couple of my tips for the traditional interviews is to just relax. Like they know you're smart. They know you look good on paper and that's why they wanted to meet you. And a lot of people freak out wondering like, what kind of questions should I have prepared for? Like what kind of answers should I prepare just in case? And like, if you want to go to medical school, you shouldn't be ready for any questions that they have to ask you. You know, you should know all about yourself. You, you shouldn't have to pre-write answers to questions because they want to see the natural you. They want to see 
you just answered these questions that are about you, you know, and, and they want to get a really good gauge of how you are, how you interact with them, how you converse. And by freaking out and overthinking it, you're going to put yourself in a position where you look like, you know, an application. You look like your piece of paper and you don't end up showing them your personality, which is what they're there to see. So turn the traditional interview into a conversation. You know, when they ask you a question, go ahead and like talk about something and, you know, lead it into a conversation rather than turning it into like a interrogation where they're just asking you a question and then you're answering it and then you're quiet waiting for them to ask you the next question. Because again, it feels more personable if you talk about things like a conversation. And plus you relax way more when you feel like you're talking with someone and having a conversation versus getting interrogated and just like doing a Q and A with them. I had a really good interview where I had a great conversation with the interviewer about trampoline safety because I've been an acrobat for many years and I used to even coach at a trampoline park and did shows and stuff and his kids really like trampolines so we talked all about different kinds of trampolines and the difference between them and kind of the different safety things and different injuries that I've seen and that I've even had myself and we talked about that for like 10 minutes and by the end of the conversation he even wrote on his hand a brand of trampolines that I actually recommended to him that he was going to go home and buy for his kids because they've been looking for a trampoline. And that kind of interaction is not one I would have gotten had I just answered a question, been like, oh yes, I do have a background in tumbling and acrobatics, and then waited for the next question. Instead, I turned it into a conversation about it. He kind of asked me how I got into it, what I've been doing with it, and it was way more relaxed. Towards the end of a lot of my interviews, I found myself just kind of like leaning back in my chair, super relaxed, kind of laughing and stuff with the interviewers because I felt relaxed. And that's the kind of feeling you want to have during your interview. And they've interviewed so many people that they know what it's like for someone to be super nervous and really stiff the entire time versus someone who's really personable and it's just fun to talk to. And that's the kind of person you want to be during these traditional interviews. You might end up in an interview that's just like you and one other person, or you might have yourself and then like three other people, including like a med student, a doctor, a member of the community. But no matter what kind of situation your interview is, you, you kind of want to do that same thing. Just turn into a conversation with them. Just relax. Just kind of you know, realize that you are smart enough to be there and don't let the imposter syndrome set in. Just like, you know yourself better than anyone else. You know the answers to all the questions they're gonna ask you. And I'm gonna backtrack a little bit here now, but even prior to the interview, like converse with the med students, converse with the other interviewers and some of the staff if you see them like during the, um, during the presentations and stuff, because the more you start to relax and kind of just start to think of it as a fun little group dynamic and maybe more of a social environment versus an interview, you're gonna go into your interview a lot more relaxed and it's gonna take a lot of those nerves off that you end up having. So every single time I've gone into an interview, I've made it a point to just kind of like sit down with the, some of the other interviewees and just introduce myself and just start talking about things and talk about things that are just normal people things. You know, as pre-meds, we kind of get stuck in this loop of like, oh, we have all this clinical experience, research, we did really good in our classes, what was our favorite class, what was our degree? And you know, we're all there because we're reasonably smart on paper and you know, we look good academically to these schools. So no one really cares about that kind of conversation. We all kind of just want to chill out, relax, like find out, oh, you also like to snowboard? Oh, I like to snowboard. Or what do you snowboard at? Like stuff like that. Like, you know, just converse like a normal human being. Just relax a little bit. I, I was at one interview where this one guy could not stop talking about like his research and his clinical experience. He kept asking other people, he's like, oh, you, you did research too, didn't you? Like, what did you do? Okay, cool, cool, cool. And then you'd go on for like five minutes about what he did. It's like every person, I just like watched the group slowly become kind of uncomfortable around the guy because this guy was kind of a robot and he just spent the last like, you know, four years or whatever just doing pre-med stuff and kind of forgot what it was like to just be a normal socializing human being. And I think people kind of forget that on this kind of route. And then my last tip for interviews is to make sure that you ask questions during your interview as well. Like I said earlier, you're gonna be also interviewing the school to make sure it's the right fit for you. So ask them a couple questions. You know, if you're being interviewed by a dermatologist, ask him about his practice a little bit, kind of just to like strike the conversation, get it going, because these are great ways to turn an interrogation and a Q and A session into a conversation. One of my favorite questions to ask my interviewers is what is your favorite part about the school to really get a perspective of what do they enjoy most about being a part of that medical school. And I usually get a really good reaction when I ask those questions and they all seem really happy to share what their favorite part is. The interviews go by like this, whether it's MMI or traditional, you won't even notice the time go by. The interview's just gonna be over and you're gonna be like, where did the time go? The one where I had two 45 minute interviews, which was like about an hour and a half long altogether, just went by like that. I had no idea we were done, the bell just rang, and that was it 
and then you walk out and if you haven't done lunch in the tour yet you'll do that or you'll have done it prior and that's pretty much the end they'll have some last comments they'll let you go and that'll be it and you'll be done with the day you'll usually get done around the afternoon and you know all that stress you had prior going in can kind of just go away now and by doing the right things during the interview and before the interview you can kind of walk in there with a lot less stress if you're new to the channel i do have some vlogs up from a couple of the interviews i'd gone on so if you really want to see what it was like to be in that moment um that those are some good ones to watch to kind of see my thoughts real time while i was going on those particular interviews besides that thanks for watching make sure to like comment and subscribe if you have any questions about interviews be sure to just comment it below or dm me here or on instagram i'll always respond um, if you've gone on interviews, make sure to comment below like what your favorite part of the entire interview was. And even let me know where you've interviewed. Like if you're watching this video and you're on your interviews right now, or even if you got into a school, like shoot me a message. I want to know how it was and how you know you felt during it and what school you got into especially. Anyways, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.